Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and happy Monday. Welcome to a new week on FIBA 22. It looks like it could be a pretty interesting week this week, but interesting in the fact that we won't be worried about maybe the promo that is going on right now. And we're going to be looking forward and starting to talk about Team of the Year, because today is a big day for Team of the Year voting. It is supposed to go live today. We'll talk about that. Also, we have brand new icon swaps coming out, so that's going to put a focus on some gameplay. And people, building on what we talked about yesterday, people are really starting to sell cards from their teams even more. As I take a look across the market, I see a lot of prices just kind of slowly, kind of like the market is bleeding in a sense. Like we're seeing prices really start to slowly drop down on some cards. Um, as you know, people are getting ready to run in tradable teams. We have icon swaps that people are going to be running this week. There's a lot of potentials, right? And a lot of kind of small things going on that are starting to impact the market little by little. Now, today could be a very, very interesting day with those brand new icon swaps. We have a mid icon SBC that, of course, you guys probably remember from last week uh, that was released one week ago, and that is expiring today. So I would I would think that it would be in EA's best interest to drop another icon upgrade SBC. Maybe it's not today, but very soon, because again, with team of the year on the horizon, this is a time where they can really try to take some coins off the market by putting out SBCs that would drain people's accounts, right? That's often what they do ahead of big time promo. So that's one of the things we might talk about a bit today on the video. So if you're enjoying the uploads, make sure to hit a thumbs up. As always, that is very appreciated and give a subscribe to the channel if you're new. But speaking of icon swaps, that's one of the first things that we have to look out for today. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to be focused on today because we are going to get the second half of icon swap tokens released. And these are the leaks. These are the projected objectives that we'll have to complete. In squad battles, you'll have Silver Squad, EFL, Italy, Liga Portugal, and then online friendlies, Premier League, League One, and Bundesliga. And that should be our last set of tokens uh, that we will have. The last set of nine tokens should be available through these objectives. Maybe they include a weekend League One uh, in there as well. So uh, just be on the lookout. And again, if it's really a quiet content day today on Monday, which I'm honestly thinking that it might be because a lot of times when they drop brand new icon swap objectives, you know, they want people kind of focused on those and focus on the gameplay. So I would not be that surprised if some of these icon swap objectives in here um, are kind of like some of our only content today on Monday. I know it seems like, hey, we might have a new mid icon SBC, which we which we could, but I could see them delaying that a day because they want people to focus on icon swaps. We will have to see, but I 100% expect these to be re-upped. Also, I think they would do these uh, or they they might keep these in milestones. I don't know how long this goes, but there's 24 days left of this season right now. So, uh, you know, the icon swaps objectives have been under the milestones tabs before. They might revert back to the objectives tab um, inside of here because then they would have, they would make this available for the last 24 days of the season. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know where that icon swaps loading screen has gone, but it's not there anymore, so it's not showing that to us. So um, it's either going to be in objectives or milestones, but that's 100% coming today. That's like almost guaranteed to be some of the content we get today on Monday. Also, content that we expect for a Monday today would be some sort of upgrade pack. Now, they have sometimes, I think there was like once or twice this year where when the second team of a two-week promo is in packs, they've kind of skipped out on a on releasing upgrade packs. So hopefully we get some today. I know a lot of you guys would be down to, especially if you're saving packs for team of the year, right? If they release the 81 plus doubles again, if they release 80 plus player pick, I think that would be something that a lot of people would love to see on the game today would be an 80 plus player pick. Some people would be continually saving those as team of the year again is on the horizon or trying to open and pack some of the cards like Vinny, Salah, Barella, Cancelo, uh, Fofana, of course. I mean, how have I not mentioned Fofana yet? Uh, they dropped a mini release yesterday. The boy Fofana is extinct on the market. That's kind of crazy. But today for Monday content, I would say icon swaps 100%. Upgrade packs like 90 to 95% chance, most likely dropping. Uh, and then, you know, I still think that it would be in EA's best interest either today or in the next day or two to drop another mid icon upgrade. Now, I haven't seen anybody talk about it, so I don't think they're going to be releasing like uh, a player pick. Um, if they do, that would kind of fly under the radar. And that would be a huge market mover if they dropped an icon player pick upgrade. Even if it's like a base icon player pick, 
that'd be the first player pick of the year and that would definitely make some fodder rise unless we you see some leaks or you see um you know people starting to talk about that I, I i don't see anything at the moment so i don't know if that is coming but i could see them very easily re-upping this mid icon upgrade which i still think a lot of people would go ahead and do that sbc now also we have another uh sbc showdown I don't think this is coming today. I guess it could be coming today, but I feel like it might be a little bit later on. Uh, Darmian versus Murdiel showdown SBCs, which with with this leak right here, and you know, thinking about what this week maybe contains with. You know, icon swaps being, you know, whenever they drop icon swaps, it seems to be a bit of a, you know, quieter time on the game. So that's why I'm a slight bit worried about content this week in general. I feel like it really might be kind of a dead week. But yes, Muriel, Darmian, those cards do not look very good. I know those stats are maybe predicted, but still, those cards do not look that great for the potential next showdown SBC. That is a leak and it will be coming soon, but that just does not look, you know, really really good uh in terms of cards that a lot of people would enjoy some people would enjoy those of course but i think a lot of people uh would not enjoy them now last thing to talk about for today and we'll head back over to twitter for this one is the vote is finally here it's finally here we have we have had three days now in a row of ea sports showing us the nominees I, they've been tweeting out these tweets at literally every the same time every day so two hours before the content drop today on Monday, we are going to see the voting go live for team of the year. Uh, so be sure to check out EA's uh, Twitter. I'll be retweeting this week when it comes out as well. But make sure you keep an eye out for that because today's the actual day to vote, January 10th. We get our first say in team of the year. This is also today is going to give us hopefully a bit of a glimpse on how long the voting runs. Then we'll be able to see probably when our start date for team of the year actually is. A lot of people are saying it's going to be the 21st of January. Based on how long the voting period is, that should give us some insight as to when we will actually see the promo itself. So that's that's a big thing to keep an eye out for today because that's going to, you know, people are going to start to plan things, right? They're going to start to plan when do I want to sell my team? You know, um, when do I want to buy certain cards that would be low in the next couple of weeks or how long do I have to start building packs for League SBCs, right? A lot of people this week are going to be doing League SBC spamming, right? Saving up packs, getting packs ready for team of the year, um, especially with the upgrade packs that could come out today. So this is going to be a focus for a lot of people as well. And that voting starts today. So hopefully we'll learn a lot from that. We'll probably be talking about this tomorrow as to what we learn about team of the year and uh, how it could in fact impact, impact the game uh, at the moment. Now, I already think this is impacting the game. So let's head over and talk about the market. Um, and before we talk about that a little bit, can we just, can we just, you know, for a second, because of how crazy this game is right now and the content and how much hype this Fofana dude has, this guy is extinct at 1.1 mil. And, and what I mean by that is it really feels like a, a bit of a stagnant time. I know a lot of people are using league one squads. They've got Kloss, uh, they've got, you know, the Causa SBC that has come out recently. I don't even see Fofana's popping up. It's crazy. People are using Genduzi. Uh, there's so much League One and French hype at the moment. I think that helps inflate this Fofana card in general. Uh, but this man is literally extinct at 1.1 million coins on the market dropping yesterday as a part of the mini release, which we 100% expected. I think this is very, very, very overpriced. I think Genduzi is just as good of a card. Uh, but some people say that this guy is just different gravy in game. So... Uh, I do expect this guy to become unextinct at one point. It, it kind of feels like a Zlatan Ibrahimovic in uh, situation for me, right? If you guys remember Zlatan from Team 2 of Winter Wildcards, he was like 3.3 million coins, right, when he was in packs. And, and he went even up to, you know, on the weekend he was 2.9 and went to 3.3. And now he's coming back down. He's 2.6 mil at the moment. I feel like we have another Zlatan situation here. With this Fofana card, he's got so much hype. He's extinct. Everybody's trying him out. Um, yes, he might get supplied a tiny bit at Weekend League Rewards this morning on Monday. Um, but, you know, the, the hype is going to continue to be there until he becomes unextinct and people can actually get their hands on him. So if you're trying to slide this guy, good luck. Be ready for when the price range updates uh, because there's going to be a lot of undercutting and a lot of listing there when this happens. But... Uh, I, I think that's a crazy price. I really think that he's going to end up being half of that price in the next two to three weeks. I think he's going to be like a six to 700,000 coin card unless he, he gets potential upgrades. We'll see. Um, we will see how that plays out. But Rafael Leal, Harry Wilson, and the goalkeeper trap 
items uh, were all of the new ones that were released onto the game yesterday. So that was our mini release as expected. Now, again, let's talk about the market. And since we're here on Flippin, it really just feels like people are starting to, to sell some cards off because we are heading into that team of the year time frame and people are like, all right, this week I'm gonna work on my icon swaps. You know, this week team of the year is coming pretty soon. Headliners is ending after this week and we know that team of the year is next. So people are, are again, as we talked about yesterday, just starting to sell some cards off in preparation for the big event that is to come with team of the year. So again, Sterling might be down a little bit because of the ZH SBC that we had yesterday. We'll talk about that um, in a bit. Zlatan is down again, as, as we have mentioned, Lucas Mora, Martial is down a bit in price. Um, one card that I saw that was down a lot, Winter Wildcards Team 1, Pog was like a million coins, Milinkovic Savage is down like 20 or 30k, uh, Modric 785, even yesterday he was looking low at 825k, so that card is down a decent amount. What about some versus cards? Um, let's see, Joe Gomez is down a decent amount, Valverde is down a little bit, this Adama was 200 and... 20k not 220 about 200k flat on the weekend he's down to like 167 and right backs man you see this in babu card right backs across the whole entire game are getting destroyed because of Kloss. i mean this Kloss sbc i wish i could see i wish we could have some of the stats that ea has on how many people are completing these sbcs 9,000 up votes 73,000 coins this guy might not even be that insane in game like hakimi or a tall might be better than this card, but since he is untradeable, he's craftable, he's French, and he links to this brand new Fofana item, um, and he's got 93 pace, that's what people only care about, right? You know, so many people are doing this SBC. Once this class goes away, you're gonna see cards like Hakimi, like uh, some of your other right backs, like Mbabu, that are getting destroyed right now in the game. I think you will see those bounce back, but until then, you know, even today they could be, they do a little bit of a bounce back, but everything is so low. Like Atal was 98K and now he's 54,000 coins. Crazy, crazy how much some of these right backs have dropped off. It's absolutely wild. Uh, but that's, you know, not even with those big of drop offs, just the slow drop offs, right? As you see across this entire market on a lot of cards, Neymar is 1.18, right? That's de definitely down a little bit in price. And as I keep looking through a lot of these special cards, it again just keeps continually telling me, the people are slowly selling off some cards from their teams. Ice Rash or Fire Rash, which is down like 20, 30,000 coins uh, in price. Let's look at team of the group stage. I sold a Marquinhos at 630 today. He's now 597. Ronaldo is down some. Uh, Bruno was 700K this weekend. He's now 620. That's a really rare item. But again, people selling off some cards. Uh, you know, it's not impacting the golds that much as I was looking at the golds that actually maintain some sort of value in this game still. Mbappe is down a little bit. Ronaldo's down 10K. Messi's the same. Neymar's about the same. So Conte is out of packs, about the same price. A lot of the golds, you know, um, that are not SBC fodder haven't been impacted too much, but there's a bit of drops on some of those cards. Let's see. Renato's about the same price there. Llorente is down 470. That's a bit low for him. Let's look at numbers up. These guys are always pretty rare. Um, Di Maria is about the same price. Felix is down some, 695. So again, if you just take a look around the market, you can see this stuff. Suarez, 338. That's down a little bit. Uh, Foden, 245. You can just kind of notice again that people are starting to liquidate some of their funds, liquidate some of these cards onto the market because they're just getting prepared for team of the year and what that time uh, of the year brings, right? And, and the focus right now isn't for people to have insane teams, right? Maybe try a few cards out. But there's been a lot of great SBCs released recently that people might be running some of those cards and knowing that Team of the Year is on the horizon, getting ready for that time on this game. So we're going to continue to see that over this week. And, you know, today, if it's an insane day of content or, or even with icon swaps coming today, you know, that, again, puts a emphasis on the gameplay on this game and a lot of times when we see icon swaps dropped especially with the new you know icon swaps are out right now and they've been out for a few for a few weeks now but with the new emphasis of there's new objectives that people that are grinding to get to you know the higher tier end of the tokens for the icon swaps uh you know guys that have only gotten nine tokens so far but they were looking to get you know Let's see, up up in the upper echelon here of icon swaps, maybe they wanted to get a mid or prime icon pack or the base mid prime player pick or the Rooney, 
you know, if they were hunting for any of these top tier choices from icon swaps, people are going to be finishing out and getting the rest of their tokens in the next couple of days. So, you know, that's where you're going to see, which I still need to get my 82 times 25 and my 83 times 25. So I've got eight swap tokens that I need to obtain. I don't even know how many tokens I have in the club right now. I should probably check because I think that I fell behind on set one. So um, I have got two. I've got two icon swap tokens at the moment. That means out of the next nine that come out, I have got to get six of them to get eight in total to get myself these next few packs. So some squad battles are in my future, which is a bit unfortunate, but got to get those packs, which I might even save until team of the year now, since I've kind of held my time and, and waited to do those icon swaps. Um, my plan was to do those during winter wild cards, but with how insane the promo was, that stuff just kind of fell uh, to the side from, from that standpoint. So again, it really feels like today on the market, again, the, the focus is shifting from people having good teams, having a lot of, you know, gameplay oriented with the best team that they can possible. This is, this is the squad that I was gifting a wins away with in weekend league after I'd finished mine. So again, when, when that focus is taken away from having meta teams, good players talking about your main squad for rivals, for champs, for stuff like that, when the focus is taken off of that and it's more objective-based type of content and maybe even SBC-based content, then I do think that you see more of the meta market dropping off today. Now, we haven't seen preview packs. That's, I still think that is something that could potentially happen. Um, I've got my player picks on a sign, which I'm saving those for the Twitch stream today on Monday. Link down below if you want to get involved uh, on that. But uh, yeah, I just kind of feel like the market and the content this week you know, it could be kind of an L week for content with the whole team of the year vote is like we're waiting for team of the year and we're waiting for that to be finished. Hopefully they drop some good content this week for headliners or it's going to be sort of a drag, right? And there's going to be more people thinking ahead towards team of the year. And when you have that happening, that's again, people are not focused on what's going on in the game. They're going to be focused on getting ready for team of the year, selling cards and stuff like that. So I do think that the market has further to fall. Uh, now, I know some prime icons have dropped a decent amount in price. Like I bought a prime Maradona for a flip because some of these primes, again, I thought they had gotten really, really low yesterday. Uh, like Maradona went to 3.5 and I bought a Maradona at 3.4 today and he's still 3.496. This guy has not moved. Now, hopefully he gets rare into today, but uh, I saw Mateus. Prime Mateus was like 3.5 million coins two days ago. Right is he right now? 2.9? He was 2.8 it's crazy, right? Some of these prime icons are dropping like mad. Vieira was was three point like five mil earlier this week, and he was like uh, three mil flat, three one. Nobody wants these icons, and it's kind of scary because they're just falling out of the sky as people again. You remember on the stream we were talking about Prime Hullet being like less than six mil for your Black Friday price. The dude is six mil now. If you're looking for a Prime Hullet, I'm talking this might be like five five in the next two weeks before we head into Team of the Year. So. It's crazy, right? With some of these icons, especially some more price drop-offs are definitely occurring. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. If you're going to trade this week, I would focus on the out-of-pack specials 100%. That's where I would focus uh, on this market is out-of-pack specials, trading and flipping. Focus on the stuff that is very hyped because of links right now. I'm going to be looking at like this baby Desai. He's down a decent amount, but he's out of packs, 720,000 coins. You know, if, if you find a couple hours where he dips, you know, maybe check into stuff like that. You know, I'm also looking at some of the headliners from Team 2. Um, you know, the, after rewards on, on Monday morning, sometimes you see a few of these rise. Now, a lot of these guys got low. Like last night when we were actually looking at them during the YouTube video, Barella was like 250. And that was kind of his low point, 250, 255. Right now, he's about 272 as we approach weekendly rewards. Uh, some of these cards, people might be waking up today and say, hey, I'm going to try some of these out, especially when there's not a ton of content. People like to go out and try cards. So we're going to keep an eye on a few of these and see if they rebound up at all. But um, to be honest, I'm not sure which ones would. I was kind of looking at like Salah's card, but we had the Ziyech yesterday, which I'll take a look at that card here in a second. Salah's like 1.25 million coins. Um, so he really is kind of held in check. Maybe Kimmich goes up a little bit today. I just don't know if people are really wanting to try Kimmich. He's 100 and what, 127,000 coins, 130K. I mean, how much how much hype really is there for a Kimmich card like this? Maybe the Rafael Leal from the brand new team. So if you're trying to risky flip today, there could be a few of these items from the brand new team mini release from the weekend like Leal. 
Um, usually I go for the more rare stuff. Um, but yeah, like even this card, supposedly we're getting a Teo Hernandez in the form, second in form, because he had two goals yesterday in a 3-0 win. So a Teo Hernandez in form this week might draw some more attention to this Rafael Leal card. But I don't think that card looks worth 155,000 coins in my opinion. So we'll see if the market rises at all this morning after awards today. There might be some potential for that. But really, the, the information and the stuff that we're really hyped for seeing today is going to be the icon swaps. Are they going to drop another mid-icon SBC? Are they going to drop the Fernando Torres and the um, Seedorf SBC, which we talked about yesterday? Those are still leaked. Uh, and those, I think, will still be dropping pretty soon. So we're going to keep an eye out on those. Uh, and then yesterday, uh, of course, upgrade packs today as well. But yesterday, they dropped the ZH. And I'm going to just say a quick word about this. This guy looks like a decent card. I mean, of course, everybody's like, man, if only he had a higher weak foot. If it was three star or four star, this card would be absolutely banging. But the stats on this card look in insane. 90 pace, 90 dribbling with really high reactions. He's going to feel really good in game. 91 attack positioning, 91 shot power. His passing, his curve is at 96. He's got long shot outside the foot flare trait. He's going to feel silky in game. I remember using once to watch the edge last year because um, I got him untradeable for a long time. And he was a fun car to use. Five star skill, high, high. He actually might be better to use on the left side because he's a left footed player. High, high work rates, maybe a little three, five, two action for some of you guys. What's his stamina? 86. I don't know. It's, it's a cool card. If you're a Chelsea fan, you're probably doing this one, right? It's not a terrible price point. And it's really, really good stats. So I can see why you want to get excited about that card right there. But I think a lot of people are also going to pass on it uh, just because, you know, it doesn't fit the French right side that they probably have going on in their teams right now with this Jonathan Kloss, which everybody is doing. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. Again, it's just more a little bit of market drop off, especially with information that we learned from team of the year today. We're going to start to think about and prepare for team of the year as it is drawing nearer maybe look at some cards that will rise really well after team of the year and as we wrap our head around you know what the time frame is going to look like and you know how ea might be running team of the year this year then we'll start to make decisions on how we think this market could could act and react and move in this next coming days as we head towards the big promo team of the year so that's the video for today boys hopefully it's a great start to the week on monday it seems like it's going to be some icon swaps grinding we'll see if ea throws anything any curveballs at us with some content that we are not expecting but if you did enjoy this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out